performances on the game? Well, uh, yeah, you know what, here it was uh, very exciting, you know, the people like him here. Uh, uh, I think it was a great fight, you know, he was getting hit a little bit more. I think it's just going to take a little bit more time. I think he did get a hit a lot, in my opinion, but uh, he is, he, you know, when he started, he was moving a little bit. At least he's trying, you know, you can't chase somebody right away, you know, but it's just going to take a little bit more time, I think, but they are connecting, they're uh, working with each other, and I think it's just going to get better and better every time. You know what, I think maybe that's what's holding him back, you know, he's too big for that weight, you know, even though he wants to move, you know, he looks pretty, he looked pretty strong, but I think at 160 he would look much better, and uh, I think uh, he's not ready for Golovkin, I think in my opinion, you know, or those top fighters right now, I think maybe like in about a year or two years, I think he'll be a good fighter, and I think he'll uh, challenge all these other champions. Oh wow, yeah, that would be a great fight, you know, fighting a, a guy like this, you know, a champion like this caliber, it would be an honor to fight Munguia. Uh, it would be great, you know, maybe they're almost the same height, so hopefully maybe he goes one to 168, that would be a possibility, That would, it'll be an honor for us to fight Munguia. Now, two weeks out, huge fight, Fox Premier they're going to do this once again, go ahead, Miley, the house campus, I know you guys will do a lot of sparring, going to a lot of gyms. Everything's going well. We uh, yesterday we did, well actually last week we did 15 rounds with four different people. To, yesterday we did 16 rounds. So now we're gonna tape it down. You know everything's good. No injuries so far. Everything's almost there. We got two more weeks. Uh, we have a very tough opponent in front of us. Uh, a fighter that has a lot of experience and uh, he only has one. Anthony Durrell, He only has one loss. We're not in, estimating Anthony Durrell, but we're going for the knockout. Maybe six, seven rounds. We're working super hard, you know, we got to make a statement. We got to make, uh, we can't just win the fight. We got to make an, make an exciting fight. We got to win uh, very exciting, you know, it has to be an exciting fight. We, ha we have to make a statement in order for him to keep going forward and uh, look very impressive in this fight. No, we already have a contract uh, going, you know, if everything goes well, we fight the Turkish. He's going to be fighting on the undercard. Uh, Ab Abby, Abby, uh, yeah, the, the guy that uh, fought Anthony Durrell, we, we're supposed to fight him. Yeah, the Turkish guy, we're supposed to fight him. Whoever wins, fight the Turkish guy. And after that, maybe uh, we can fight that Caleb Plant. That's the fight that we want. That's the fighter that we want to fight. I think, yeah. I think it's a perfect time, but at the same time, you know, uh, those punches at that weight, uh, anything can happen. It's a big punch, uh, but I think he will take this fight. Uh, Kovala is not the same fighter anymore, but uh, anything can happen in the ring, and plus he fights a bigger guy. Wow, you know, who, I mean, 168, who doesn't want Canelo? Everybody wants to fight Canelo, Triple G, so it would be an honor to fight them, you know. But first of all, we got to step it up a little bit more and look impressive for this fight. Maybe two, three fights, hopefully they can give us that fight. I, well, I want to tell everybody, you know, thank you so much for the support, all the Hispanic people and everybody that's been supporting from day one. Thank you.